All right, cool, you've read the title, let's get straight into it. So tip number one would be to go for a 30 to 45 minute walk, either before work or after work. This could potentially add three to 5,000 steps to your day, just like that. Let's be real, if you're working from home, you can definitely make time to do this. I don't wanna hear that excuse. If it means you're having to wake up half an hour earlier, then so be it. Skip the scrolling and go for a walk. Tip number two would be to walk around the house whenever you have a Teams meeting. And I'm talking especially those big Teams meetings that you don't even really need to be in, but you have to be in anyway. You can just turn your camera off, have your headphones in, and listen while you walk around the house. Hey, it's giving you a chance to be productive, so why not? Right, so tip number three, this one's a bit basic, but every hour, just get up and walk around the house for five minutes. You can even use it as a chance to do those household chores that you've been putting off. Right, so tip number four is that on the weekend, make sure you spare at least one to two hours just to cook in bulk. This will save you so much cooking time during your lunch breaks during the week, and this will give you time to do tip number five. Tip number five being, go for a walk during your lunch break. 10 to 20 minutes, that can add 1,000 to 2,500 steps. I wanna show you a sample from a day where I use these various techniques. Just after my lunch break, I'm already on 8,000 steps on this day. And I finished the day with over 11,000 steps. Now that concludes the video, hope you enjoyed that. If you work from home, let me know what techniques you use to get 10,000 steps as well. Like, subscribe, share with your people in a bit.